Today, traders are searching for reasons that may allow the US dollar to recap some of its losses. On Friday, the unexpectedly strong data on the UK GDP and industrial production led to a further increase in the pound sterling and the euro. Thus, both currencies became even more of a boat. In the recent week and a half, the euro has appreciated by more than 500 pips. That's why the market needs correction. However, today it's hardly possible and the euro may go on rising. The fact is that the eurozone industrial production should have climbed to 3.3% from 2.5%, and notably in recent days the market has become sensitive to various statistical data, especially positive reports from Europe. Thus, the eurozone industrial production increased by 4.9% on a yearly basis. The previous data was also upwardly revised to a rise of 2.8%. However, the market reaction is quite modest. Last week, the euro gained more than 450 pips against the US dollar, and this is one of the strongest inertial movements that allowed the pair to launch a new correctional cycle from the low of the downtrend. As a result, the euro reached the next resistance level of 1.0350. Since the euro is extremely overbought, it may bounce off the resistance level of 1.0350. In this case, sellers will get local support, whereas buyers will have a chance to regroup the existing positions. The payout will rise higher if it consolidates above 1.0350, at least on the four-hour period. And in this case, traders will receive a technical signal of the prolongation of the upward cycle. Meanwhile, the pound sterling added more than 550 pips against the US dollar last week. As a result of this unprecedented inertial movement, the pair surpassed the local highs recorded this autumn. Thus, the pound sterling prelaunched the correctional movement from the low of the downtrend. The British pound has appreciated by about 14.5%, which is approximately 1,500 pips. The new trading week was opened with a downward gap. The overbought pound started falling. The earlier broken resistance level of 1.1750 now is acting as support. The quote returned to this level due to a decline. It's quite possible that the upward inertial movement is a still in force. That's why, if the price climbs above 1.1855, traders may start opening long positions again. To continue falling and launch a downward correction, the price should settle below 1.1750. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to the channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading station.